Hello, and welcome to Georgia Divorce and Family Law TV. I'm your host, Nedra Howard, and I'll discuss the many issues involved in divorce and family law in Georgia. I'm Nedra Howard with Nedra K. Howard PC, a law firm where family matters. Today, I'll be explaining the best interest of the child standard. I know I've mentioned that in several of my previous videos and, you know, stress that that is the standard for determining custody. So what is it exactly? Uh, in the state of Georgia, the legislature has set out in statute, which means law, a set of factors uh, that the court must use when they determine custody of a child. Uh, first and foremost, there is no presumption that either parent uh, has a superior custody right to the child. In other words, there's no favor uh, under the law just that mothers will always receive custody or that fathers will always receive custody. Uh, additionally, there is no presumption under the law that there is any particular type of custody that is favored. Uh, so there's no favor for sole custody or joint custody or anything like that. Uh, it's completely left to the best interest of the child standard. Um, there are 17 factors that are listed out. Um, and so I won't go through all 17 of those factors, but basically they boil down to several different categories. First would be... Um, what is best for the child as far as their stability, you know, keeping their life as normal as you can keep it. Um, with regard to the parents, it would be whether or not they are able to provide for the child um, physically, emotionally, and financially. And with financially, it does uh, assume that there's going to be child support to help support that child. Um, the court will look at if there are any kind of violence or abuse uh, issues that would affect the child. Uh, we'll look for stability of the child as far as school and home and friends and family. Uh, we'll look to see which parent can maintain a relationship for the child with the other parent. Um, and, you know, any kind of recommendations if the court appoints what's called a guardian ad litem. Uh, a guardian ad litem is uh, someone appointed by the court to look to the child's best interest and provide the court with a report, and I will do separate videos on the guardian ad litem. Um, but the court mainly is looking to see that the child is going to retain their bonds, uh, especially to family, but to friends as well. Um, and so if you're interested in looking at those 17 factors, I'm sure you can find them online or you can talk to your attorney about it. Your attorney will help you uh, understand what issues the judge is going to look at and try to present your uh, favorable factors to the court so that the court can decide. And it's always a judge that decides. It's never a jury that decides anything about custody. So I help Hope that helped clear up some of the questions about what the best interest of the child standard is. Uh, if it did help, please hit the like button. If you think this will help someone else, please share. And if you'd like more information about divorce and family law in Georgia, please subscribe to my channel. Again, I'm Nedra Howard with Nedra K. Howard PC, a law firm where family matters.